Hi folks, happy weekend to you. It's Saturday the 22nd and Sunday the 23rd of February. Um, Chris Jansen, Harcourt Sergeant. Welcome to another episode of Bricks and Mortar TV. And as you can see, my little comrade, the seat here is vacant. Adrian Armstrong on annual leave this weekend. Enjoy, mate. Um, Well-deserved break. And um, yeah, it's a bit different doing these videos on my own. But quick market snapshot. What's happening right now? Well, it, it continues to be that the four bedroom, two bathroom, two living area homes are uh, categorically the most sought after home right now. Um, if you're down in the city of Salisbury Council, I have buyers super aggressively looking for t four bedroom, two bath, two living areas with budgets ranging from about 450,000 pushing right up to that 550,000. I do have a number of people looking to upsize right now as well. They're looking for some lifestyle changes around two worlds, Virginia, they wanna get on that. 1,000 to 1,500 square meter allotment again, because it's a lifestyle, it's an upstyle change. They're looking for big family homes, four bed, two bathrooms, two living areas. Um, those people that I'm working with are looking to spend around four, uh, sorry, 550,000, right up to around that $700,000 mark. Moving up the hill, the same applies there. Four bed, two bath, two living areas. Buyers with budgets aggressively looking around about that 500 to 650K are ready to cement their plans into 2020 and secure that, those homes. You know, it's funny, I was talking to a buyer today and uh, we had a home that was three bedroom, two bathroom, two living area. And the irony of it, this buyer needs four bedrooms, yet they made an offer on the property. Why is that? Um, and I asked that question of the buyer and he said, look, I missed out on a home of recently. This is a big three bedroom, two bathroom, two living area. Um, there's some flexibility with the floor plan. I might just have to make it work if successful because really the reality is there's not much for me to choose from as a buyer out there that has an established four bedroom home right now. The next lot of buyers, I've got developers slash investors aggressively on my books looking for large parcels of land with an established house on it. Doesn't matter of the condition. These buyers are looking to spend around 350 to 450,000. And they don't mind something, folks, that needs a bit of love and attention. They're happy to get in there, sink their teeth, renovate it, and develop it down the track. Ideally, one into two, more ideally, one into three titles. They're factoring their margins on the end game. So if you've got a neglected home that needs underpinning or a lot of love, or it's been a tenanted property for quite some time, I've got people that are happy to take the home in whatever condition it is right now. The properties that are struggling, um, unfortunately, units continue just to have modest to no growth. Um, I'm finding units, strata or community title, those that were purchased three, four, five years ago, if they're getting replacement value at best, uh, that's best case scenario. So it seems not many buyers nor investors looking for units as it appears right now. The established housing market, three bed, two bath, four bed, two bath, or three bed, one bath, predominantly anything with two living areas, those properties, real strong and solid demand. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Have a fabulous weekend. Superloop V8s are here. Enjoy it on Sunday. And uh, the weather's cracking. We couldn't ask for better. Until next week, it's bye for now.